Anyhow, let's go ahead. Dates are reserved for a man you are dating. If you want to get to know a man, you should meet for coffee, a drink, meet in a park, take a walk, have a conversation. There should be no exchange of money to get to know a man. Do not take anything from him. Get to know him, ask questions, find out if you have a future together, if you are intentional about dating. Stop expecting men to court you before they get to know you. So we'll start here. Basically, you should know what you want in your man. So you ask questions, get to know them better before they start paying for your, I want to say, needs and wants. What would you say? I disagree with that. Why? I feel like March. If, if someone invites me out for a first date and they're like, oh, let's go, whatever, get coffee. So you are inviting me out of my house to do this thing with you. So mm -hmm. literally, yeah, you pay for it. Yeah, I right. think that's pretty that's fine. Fair, but does it have to be really big and extravagant? No. So coffee's fine, right? Yeah. Matcha, coffee, tea, acai bowls, pura vida. So you, so you agree? <laughs> that's the hint, guys. So you agree then? I 100% agree with she said. I feel that it's nice that they will take care of it. It doesn't have to be casa dona. Mm -hmm. It could be pura vida. The first date, but then the second we can upgrade if it's nice. To what though? <laughs> yeah, <Okay>. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For the audience, yeah. uh, Pura Vida is a really fancy, yeah. uh, overpriced, yeah, overpriced, healthy food bro. place in Miami. Yeah, yeah. Overpriced. Uh, yeah overpriced. Uh, Chipotle is better. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. I won't be going to Chipotle with you. <laughs> yeah, but you're 32, so you can't pick and choose. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I can't. I can. That was funny. That was funny. I mean, you're single as fuck, so that's fine. Damn, Chris. <laughs> Oh shit! Man. Oh come on, man! I'm reading the chat, bro. Did she, bro, did she right. step on your J today? Yeah, I'm about to say. What about you? I disagree. Why? Um, the expectations that you set from the beginning mm. is how a man's gonna treat you there from there on, and like, yeah, I get the whole coffee thing and stuff, but like for me personally, I take my time very valuable so i'm gonna ask all those questions before the first date i don't need to get to know you before the first date really i should already like be asking the questions like whether it be through text phone facetime because then if you're actually getting the privilege to like go on a date with me privilege? that's a big step yeah privilege. what about him facts both <laughs> i mean i see it as both the privilege the privilege the privilege okay the privilege? all right out of curiosity um <laughs> Yo, Ma, get her, man. Yeah, um... <laughs> yo, Ma, you're picky, yeah, right? Yo, 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 get her, Ma. You're, you're picky with All the men right, that you date? there it goes. Yeah. You're picky with the men that you date? Okay. Uh, are they, do they gotta be taller than you? I mean, I'm 5'5", five five, so yeah. Okay, do they gotta earn more than you? Short. Of course. Be more Broke. intelligent or competent than yourself? Of course. Okay. Um, so, the man that you're looking for, more than likely, is kind of rare. Would you say most men are unattractive to you? But we didn't talk about attractiveness. I'm you said saying, tall and that that's a component of, of him being attractive. Okay, no, so, he doesn't have to be a ten, honestly. No, of course not. Okay. But I'm saying like a majority of men, do they meet your standards? No. So yeah, so by definition, you're selective and you're picky. Correct. Okay, now do you think the man that you're going to go out with more than likely is as selective as you? Yeah, I would think so. No, they're not. Well, they're not. Men are not nearly <laughs> as picky as women. Yeah. So who really has the privilege? Facts. Ooh. Okay. Gotcha, bitch! Because I don't think women understand that, like, you guys are very replaceable. You even said it yourself when she gave her own traits. Hey, there's another girl that can do that. Well, you're very right, because the threshold for us to be attracted to a woman is very low. Be attractive, don't be a pain in the ass, don't be a whore. We'll go out with you. But you guys, on the other hand, I need to be tall, I need to be charming, I need to be cool. Money, yeah. Be, you know, she met cool. out with, she went with some millionaires, and she said they're not interesting, they don't have a vibe. So... <laughs> It's very hard to please women. So the reality is if you're going out on a date with a guy, that means he's been vetted to some degree. It's really your privilege to go out with him. Gotcha, bitch. Okay. But I always find it interesting how like girls kind of like look at it like I'm the prize. Not really. I don't think so. You're not. But, bro, I was just having this conversation with somebody. They was like, women, they go all around the world. They fix their self up. They, they do all these things to, to find a man. Or to get this one guy. So in reality, who's the prize? If you doing all this stuff, you getting BBLs, you getting your teeth done, you getting all this shit done. You out here walking around fancy to get this guy attention. So who actually is the prize? Mm. 
Well, the point is, is that I'm I'll make it even fun. I'll make it even funnier. The girl don't even got to do all that bullshit. And she'll that get the guy. Part. Yep. Tell me about it. Cause... You know what I mean? So here's the thing: since women are more selective, right, and they have higher standards, that means by definition, the man that they're dealing with is rare, right? So if the man is rare, who's really the prize? Who's easier to replace? Supply and demand. Attractive men are low in supply. Demand goes up. Attractive women are in crazy supply. There's a bunch of them. A so are they really in demand? I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I mean, there's a reason why you go on a music video shoot. There's two or three rappers, but there's 30 girls. You go to a nightclub. There's one or two dudes in a section, but 50 girls. Yep. Right? For men, we want quantity. For you guys, you want quality. Why is it that I can have multiple girlfriends with girls knowing that I have other girls and it's fine, but it would never work the other way around. Nick? Women are okay with sharing men. And women understand kind of deep down that like men of value have options and you guys really don't have as many options as you guys think you do. You, you guys actually have less options than you guys think you do. Because How dare just because a guy hits you up on Instagram and says, hey, baby girl, you hot. Hey, or some dude hits you up on, uh, what was that, Hinge, Hinge or whatever. How many of them are real candidates? Not many. A majority Ooh. of them are not. Look, uh, you, you, how long you been in Miami yourself? Um, I literally got here yesterday. Okay. Did you go to the club yesterday? Um, or you went out? Yeah. How many men approached you? <laughs> a lot. Yeah, a lot. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah, how many of them yes. did you even entertain yes. or talk to? Maybe one or two? Mm, no, they were not kind of in the caliber that I was looking for. So. Rich? No. Uh-uh. Wait, wait, wait. I was, I was in Winwood, so. Wait, so. Fuck it. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, which club? Oh, no, I, oh, yeah. I was at Dirty Rabbit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 I've never been there before my friend yeah. took me. But, so. but, 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 and I say, and I don't mean to use, to like pick on you, but I'm just using that as kind of like a raw example. Like, you, you get a girl here, right? She comes in from Ohio and she ha she's out, out and about, and then all these guys go up to her and she's giving a majority of them no time of day. Yeah. So it's like, that means most men are not attractive to most women. And I guarantee for all of you guys probably experienced that. A bunch of guys might come up to you, talk to you, or whatever, and you reject most of them. Yeah. So if a guy does come along, that's attractive. Who's really the prize, ladies? But I think women kind of come in with this whole thing like, I'm the prize. It's a privilege that you're hanging out with me. The guy reads on that and he's like, eh, fuck this bitch. I'm going to just have sex with her. I'm not going to take her seriously. And, and oh, I don't. Kicks what? it to the curb. Because most girls don't really yeah. do enough to keep guys around. You Bucks. guys really don't. You guys think I'm the prize. That's he needs to butt. fucking do this. Work for me. Play hard to get. Work for me. Whatever. Do you guys really think that's going to work for a dude that has like five, ten other girls he's talking to? Nope. You said something earlier that kind of alarmed me. I didn't want to bring it up. <laughs> He Chris. said something earlier with your guy. So, this guy, right, that you were talking to for like two months, right? You guys had a little <laughs> argument, right, on a disagreement. And then you were just okay with cutting it off <laughs> and ending it. Who do you think lost out on that? I guess he did. He can get back out on the market and get another girl. Clearly, there's a proof of concept there that works because you're hard to get, right? So, he did something right. And he's gonna just go back on the market and get another girl. You, on the other hand, you're gonna you're back in the market, and it's gonna be harder for you to find a guy because your standards are higher. You make quite a bit of money, probably day trading. You're probably successful. You don't sound like to me. So, by definition, you're gonna need a higher caliber guy. Yep. So who really lost out there? And I find it interesting how like you're willing to throw that two months away because of a disagreement. But this is what I mean when I say men are terrible at keeping men around. Well, no, no, I didn't. I only threw it away because. He, um, what sort? It wasn't just a disagreement. He like blew it out of proportion. So we had a disagreement, and then for two weeks, he, we, like, we're not talking the same and so forth. So Why didn't you he, apologize? I did. And I said, it's not even Stop worth, like, to keep talking about it. Like, let's just move on. It's, it's cat, fine. Bro. But it's he cat, bro. It probably, kept that's that not in the back of his that's mind. Not that's, not that's, not that's not apologizing. That's not, bro. Okay. It's not apologizing at all. Yeah. If anything, you're trying to minimize his yeah. concern. Facts. And this is a common tactic that women do. You minimize the problem mm -hmm. to try to trivialize it, make them look stupid. Like, why do you care about this? You're being emotional. When in reality, he might probably took it as a form of disrespect. Like, what the fuck? And the thing is, is that, like, with certain levels of guys, like, you need to apologize and you need to, like, understand your place and know that, like, look, the level of disrespect that men are going to tolerate is almost always attributed to their level of success. So the more successful the guy or the more attractive he is, the less tolerance he has for disrespect. So 
you not acknowledging your mistake and kind of playing this game like I'm the prize. I'm gonna apologize to you, right? Boss, Which you bitch. might not have said that overtly, but you probably might have thought it, right? Hot. He's gonna look at it like, man, fuck this bitch. I could go get another girl just like her. Facts. That's not gonna argue with me, not give me a headache, or like take my concern seriously. So, I think if women came in with the mindset of let me try to keep this guy versus let this guy keep me, I think you guys would be able to like keep guys longer term. Because I find it alarming that you were with this guy for like two months. You guys, it seemed like you guys were doing good. You guys fucked and everything. Why would you just throw that away? Why? I'll tell you this, in Miami. You, on the other hand, like much. you too. Like you said, oh yeah, I'm quick to like end relationships. Like, why? They weren't even real. Like, okay. I, don't, I don't feel like they're real. But ask yourself, why weren't they real? Because they were just for like short periods of time. We're still getting but to... But hold on, hold on. Tonight. But why was it a short period of time? It was a short period of time because I saw things that I didn't like. So instead of staying, I'd rather just leave. So that way you find more time with a woman who loves everything. <clears throat> and I find more time with a so guy you were who looking, loves... So you were looking for a reason to disqualify him? No, I wasn't looking for a reason. I was just yeah, living life and I saw the reasons presented themselves. Interesting. Go on, Got you. This episode is sponsored by 5G Free. I want to talk about the things that people are afraid to say out loud. Who is in control of America's news? It's not Biden. Meanwhile, we have Russian ships off the coast of Florida and full-blown wars in Ukraine and a certain state. The world is at its most unstable point since World War II. And with nuclear weapons, the stakes are 10 times higher. How do people like you and I stay safe? Every prepper needs to have Radio Guard ACE, the only FDA-approved drug to treat radioactive fallout. The only f and only the feds got it until now. That's why Rumble partnered with 5G Free, the only company in the world that has a supply of Radio Guard ACE and the ability to, to prescribe it prophylactically. Get their radiation emergency kit with Radio Guard ACE, potassium iodide, Zofran, and Geiger counter. There's simply no other tool in your arsenal to protect you against radioactive threat. So go to 5gfree.com and put the code STUDIO, say 15%. And that is 5gfree.com. Use the code STUDIO to say 15% and get your radiation kit now. And thank you, 5G Free, for sponsoring this episode. All right. Cool.